Welcome to the basics of the Samsara Driver app. If you haven't already, download the Samsara Driver app using the Apple App Store or Google Play. Simply type in Samsara Driver into the app search bar. Type in your fleet ID in the indicated area. Alamone's fleet ID is Alamone in all lowercase letters. Enter your username in the indicated area. Typically, it's the first three letters of your last name followed by your three-digit Paycor employee number. Contact the fleet department if you don't know your username. Enter your password in the indicated area. Contact the fleet department if you've never logged into the Samsara Driver app or have forgotten your password. If you want the option of resetting your own password, the phone number of the device that the Samsara Driver app is downloaded on must match the phone number in your Samsara Driver profile. Once you've entered all the correct information, tap on the Sign In button. When you have successfully logged in, a pop-up window will immediately appear to remind you of any hours of service logs you didn't certify prior to logging out previously. Tap on the Review and Certify button to perform that function, or tap on the Skip button to close the pop-up window. The Samsara Driver app will open up to one of two default screens. The first default screen is the home screen if you are currently signed into a vehicle or are permanently assigned to a specific vehicle. We'll mention the second default screen in a moment. If you are currently signed into a vehicle and you need to drive a different vehicle, simply tap on the Vehicle Selection button on the home screen. If you aren't permanently assigned a vehicle in Samsara and aren't currently signed into one through the Driver app, the default screen after logging in is the Assignment screen. Tap on the Select Vehicle button to find the vehicle you will be operating. Next, type the vehicle number into the search bar. After typing the vehicle number into the search bar, select the correct vehicle by tapping on the appropriate vehicle number. The app will then jump to this screen. Take a moment to double check that the displayed information matches the vehicle you'll be driving. When you've confirmed everything matches and it's the correct vehicle, tap on the Confirm button. After confirming your vehicle selection, the app will go back to the assignment screen. Tap on the Done button to exit this screen. If you need to temporarily change the vehicle you are currently driving, tap on the Vehicle Selection button on the home screen. This will take you to the assignment screen. Tap on the vehicle you are actively assigned to in order to change it. Tap on the Leave button. This will sign you out as the driver for that fleet vehicle. Use the steps previously described to search for, select, and confirm the vehicle you will now be temporarily driving. Tap on the Done button once that is complete. Next, we will discuss how to change your duty status in the Samsara Driver app. The simplest way is from the home screen. To change your duty status to On Duty, tap on the Duty Status button. An important note. On duty time is all of your applicable drive time and work hours. The duty status screen will appear. Tap on the on duty button to place yourself into the on duty status. After the correct duty status is set, tap on the save button. You will then be taken back to the home screen. To change your duty status to off duty from the home screen, tap on the duty status button. An important note, off duty time is all of your daily rest and lunch breaks. Off-duty time also includes all time before and after working hours. The duty status screen will appear. Tap on the off-duty button to place yourself into the off-duty status. After the correct duty status is set, tap on the Save button. When you select the off-duty status, a pop-up message will ask if you are done for the day. If you tap on the Go Off-Duty and Sign Out button, another pop-up will appear asking if you're sure you want to sign out. If you tap on the Sign Out button, you will 1. Be signed out of the Samasara Driver app and 2. Be signed out of the fleet vehicle that you were driving but aren't permanently assigned to. If you tap on the Go Off Duty button on the pop-up message asking if you are done for the day, the pop-up will disappear and you'll continue to see the duty status screen. As a side note, whenever you sign out of the Samsara Driver app and you still have uncertified hours of service logs, a pop-up box will appear reminding you of your hours of service logs that still need to be certified. If you tap on the Review and Certify button, you will be taken to the Hours of Service Log screen. 
If you tap on the Sign Out Anyway button, you will be signed out of the Samsara Driver app as previously described. Now we'll go over how Alamone's authorized drivers will meet the requirements from the FMCSA and DOT regulations on certifying their hours of service. HOS. All drivers of Alamone's regulated commercial motor vehicles. CMVs. Which include all fleet vehicles three-quarter ton trucks and larger. Must log and certify their HOS to be compliant with all state and federal regulations. First, tap the HOS button located on the home screen. When the hours of service screen appears, tap on the date with an uncertified log to open the daily log editing screen. At the top of the daily log editing screen, you will see a timeline with the associated duty status displayed on it. Scroll upward to view the different log entries for the day. Select the time frame you want to edit by tapping on the corresponding edit button. You can edit specific sections of time by selecting the start or end time. The clock pop-up will appear. Select the correct time you want set for the start or end time. Tap OK when you're done. Make sure the duty status is accurate for the time frame selected. Quick side note on the driving time status. This is automatically logged directly from the electronic logging device, ELD and cannot be changed. A very important status that you need to be aware of is the personal conveyance. This is a specialized duty status for all off-duty drive time while driving ACMV during non-work-related activities. For example, you are back at your hotel after work and you decide to go to a restaurant for dinner. This is permitted but your drive time must be logged as personal conveyance because it is not work-related. When your daily driver's log is complete and accurate, tap on the Certify and Submit button. Now that your hours of service are logged and certified, you must follow up by certifying the physical route, point A to point B, driven. These are considered trips, and just like the HOS, each trip must be certified. To certify a specific trip log, tap on the Trip Log button on the home screen. Select the specific trip that needs to be certified. Keep in mind that it's based on a start-to-stop route driven, so you may have many trips in one day. Again, each and every trip must be certified. The trip you selected to certify will open a new screen to edit and certify that specific point A to point B trip. A map will be displayed showing the points and route driven. The beginning, point A address and the end, point B address will be displayed on the screen as well. Most of the trips you'll need to certify will be work-related, remember. These trips must be within the hours of service that has the on-duty status. Tap on the work button. Personal trips must be within the personal conveyance duty status. Tap on the personal button for these trips. When the correct trip purpose is selected, tap on the save button. This concludes the brief overview of navigating the Samsara driver app and the requirements for logging hours, odd service and trips. If you have questions or are having technical issues related to the Samsara driver app, please contact the Alamone Fleet Department or Safety Department.